afternoon, my name is Marissa Brennan, and I am the CEO of Holocade. And I would like to personally welcome you to Holocade, where your game is now a reality, and your reality is now a game. <laughs> Essentially, Holocade is here to provide a service. The basic premise behind Holocade is bringing the entertainment aspect of video games into the realm of reality. So when a gamer comes to our location, they will receive a plastic weapon or gun, which in theory will be the remote, and they will be brought into a room with the scenic design of a decrepit house in the middle of a zombie apocalypse. When the game begins, there will be holographic characters attacking the people, the gamers in the house who will be trying to eliminate the gamers. And the main point of the game is for the gamers to eliminate the zombie holograms by using the weapons and teamwork. At Holocade, our mission is to revolutionize the gaming experience and the way that gamers interact with video game interfaces. And how we intend to do that is we've created this new gaming system that is completely interactive and surpasses any interactive gaming system out there currently. Our vision, however, are we want to take the video game world to an entirely new level, making a medium between reality and gaming. To, we also want to create an extremely entertaining game that also has exercise in it, because you're going to be running around, shooting zombies, you know, what more can you ask for? Today, we are offering you an opportunity to own 30% of revenue shares in Holocade in exchange for an initial investment of $1.25 million. Hi, my name is Connor Lambert, and I'm co-director of marketing. And so I'm going to talk about advertising. Um, initially, we're going to start by having ads on popular gaming information websites such as GameSpot.com, IGN.com, and so on. And our ads will redirect interest, interested gamers to our own website, which will allow us to immediately track how many people are interested based on how many hit counters we get. Uh, forum. Our website will have a public forum allowing people to post discussions and talk about uh, Holocade. This will, this will build an online community on our own website, giving Holocade some public popularity. TV ads. In order to reach out to, a casual, to more casual gamers who may not be going on gaming websites, we will produce a television ad that will demonstrate Holocade and, uh, for a more casual audience. This ad will also direct viewers to our website uh, so they can learn about Holocade and be interactive with the online community. I'm Connor Doyle, co-director of Marketing. So who is our market? We are targeting teens and young adults in the Silicon Valley area in both the hardcore and the casual gaming demographics. Now, 49% of the video game uh, users, a uh, $22 billion industry, are between the ages of 17 and 49. We're trying to capture this audience within the Silicon Valley. Now, the location. We're planning on leasing property in a shopping mall to help with our advertisements. Now, the people that go to shopping malls, A, are already planning on spending a lot of money in the stores, and B, are looking for a source of entertainment. And it's clear that our, our service provides both now, the brand. We're an innovative experience in the gaming world, and we're trying to bring young adults into that experience. Uh, we are so far ahead of the competition because if you think about it, consoles don't provide nearly as much fun, exercise, in, and innovation, and mall entertainment sources are simply 20th century in our price. Now, our experience is pretty pricey, with $30 uh, per, for a half an hour experience, but this makes us look like a, t a cutting edge Silicon Valley experience. Now, if I fly a simulating experience where you pretend to be uh, flying like you're uh, parachuting, uh, can charge $55 for a few minutes of simulated flying, then it is clear that our uh, company will have a demographic because A, we're more affordable, and B, we're so much more fun than that. Hi, my name is Taylor Walker, and I'm part of research and development. Um, a personal experience that I had was freshman year, I was playing basketball, and I was like, I'm going to be the best. And I just, every day on Saturdays for five hours, I worked with my basketball coach, and we trained on everything. Um, in research and development for Holocade, um, we have um, a tech team that consists of um, technical engineers and um, s um, software designers who 
showed who shows hard work and dedication and um and that really that's that's good because it's a video game market and um they developed the game and that appeals to our um target audience. Hi, my name is Ahera. I'm co-director of Human Resources. How frustrating is it to be welcomed by a rude employee that has no interest in being where they're at? <laughs> we all know that this has happened to all of us, but why does it have to be that way? At Holocade, we believe that the way our customer feels is the most important part of having a great company. Employ our employees must have enthusiasm and enjoy what they do. We want our employees to feel proud of working for Hel uh, for Holocade. As for firing, attitude towards customers is the most important skill. If they, you don't have, if you don't make customers feel welcome, then this employee shouldn't be part of Holocade. If one important skill is missing in an employee, then it would be as if all their skills are missing. Uh, hi, my name is Nadia Sandoval, and I am co-director of Human Resources. And we at Holocade recognize that the people are a vital resource for a company to succeed. So we want our employees to feel welcomed, appreciated, and needed. So we want to incorporate some, maybe some friendly competition. You know, they they could be allowed to play the game themselves. We can show the ranking who's first, who's second. You know, just to create some little friendly competition between the employees, just to create some fun. We could do employee of the month, like pretty much every other business, and we could present the employee of the month at our company meetings, make them feel recognized for their achievements, and make them feel like you're a great employee. Here you go, a certificate, everyone's clapping, you know you feel special. So, we can have some company parties too, you know, everyone just joins in and it's not, it's just to bond, to create a family and not just your job. <coughs> Hello, my name is Scott Leinhardt and I'm co-director of finance for Holocade. What I will share with you today is the expected income of our company throughout the first three years of, op of operation. For the first year, with 150 sessions a week and a maximum of 20 players each paying $30 per session, we can see a max revenue of about $4 million. Factoring in a predicted 75% of maximum customers served, our sales will reach a realistic $3 million in the first year, as you can see right there. In the second year, another oh, in the second year, we predict another five percent increase of maximum sales achieved due to an increase in marketing and 20 more sessions held per week. This will result in an income of over 3.8 million, as you can see on the right on the two. Following this trend, we project a third year income of almost six million. Hello everybody, my name is Sean. I'm going to be talking about something that no one ever really likes to talk about, and that's the expenses. But we're going to, first of all, the first year, the total expense we're going to have is $2.5 million. And that's due to our rental budget, which is 120 k And then we have our salary, which is roughly a million dollars. And then we have our employee benefits, which is much roughly 100 k And then we have our utilities, which is roughly 250 k And then our research and development is going to be 850 k And then we're going to, um, with our marketing is going to be 60 k And then our income tax is going to be 66 dollars and then into the next year, we're actually going to have a total expense of 2.6 million. And then our third year, we're going to have a total expense of 3.18 million. And that's partly due to we're going to have changes in our research and development. And what I really want to focus on is over the span of three years, what we're going to raise in net profit is actually going to be four million dollars in net profit. And then if you if you um, put that in comparison with the initial investment of 2.5 million, you're making a 170% return. So the bottom line is, by the end of three years, your 1.25 million investment will be paid, along with a profit for you, of $825,000.
From that point, our company is ready to expand to multiple sources, and your company, um, your present in the company will be valued at over a million dollars. So it's pretty clear. If you take this opportunity today to invest in our company, within four or five years, you will see a return of over a million dollars. And that's the point that I want to get across. Thank you for the opportunity, and thank you.